Well, hello, I'm Chris, and this is my Beetle Started Running Like Crap video. Now, it doesn't have to have a Beetle. It can be any car. We just happen to be working on a Beetle, and the underlying message that I want to share with you is be careful who you have working on your car because they might be slowly over the years sabotaging your car without they truly knowing that and without you knowing that. That's what I think was going on with this Beetle. Let's check it out. So if you have a beetle that was running good and all of a sudden is running like crap, watch this video and we're going to talk about something that you may not even be thinking of. Whoever owned this car for the majority of the time, I think their mechanic was sabotaging them the whole time taking advantage of them. And we're going to go through a basic procedure and then we're going to talk about that one thing. So just so you know, a timing light has nothing to do with the way the car runs. The timing is just retarded, which it could overheat or advance, which it runs really good, but it's hard to start. The whole time during that range, the engine runs perfectly smooth. So this one was running perfect. And as soon as I started doing the test driving on it, it started running like crap. So any size of engine, any engine runs smooth. That's da 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 Minor vibration, which is perfectly normal, like a da 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 And then it went from da 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 to da 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 Pretty much like that. I hate to make those sounds, but that's what it was. That's how I knew the engine is misfiring or something is going on. I brought the timing light out here because you start freaking out. You don't know what it is. The timing was perfect. Engine still da 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 and even you rev it up, da, 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 and it goes, pa, da, 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 pa, it starts backfiring. The thing is not backfired at all. If you watch the first video I made on this car, I was, ear, ear, ear. so I'm doing a lot of talking and pointing because you're going to be doing a lot of looking and scratching your head in real life when your beetle starts running like crap. Okay, so you are going to need an air compressor. We're going to sandblast the plugs, or you can go buy brand new plugs on the beetle. This is a 1972. That's why we're not going to demonstrate the shake because it gets hot real fast in this beetle. That's why we're not gonna turn the engine on. and just gonna have to take my word for it. These plug wires have like a little, they use the stud on the plug and they have like a little spring that ratchets and you should feel it go like tit, 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 like a little click, 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 click down on the plug. So, so make sure your plug wires are stuck in all the way because this one was not really in all the way. So if you're new to cars, understand your firing order, either write it on some tape, write it under there, stick it, whatever, or just write it right here. You cannot play any games with this information. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four are the cylinders. And you can't look at somebody else's car and say, oh, well, your vacuum advance is right there, so mine's gonna be right there. It depends on the distributor. And then we have the timing, five degrees after top dead center. So when I was editing, I noticed this right here. That's wrong. The distributor rotates clockwise after top dead center was coming in over here at five degrees and uh, i don't know i didn't really catch it but pay attention to stuff like that and always admit your mistakes so if you're concerned about your coil not having spark you can get a spark plug tester but this one right now i can't demonstrate it because those plug wires won't fit into it but figure out how to get that plug wire or a plug wire on there you ground this out and then you crank your engine and you'll see the little spark jump you set your gap according to what you have in the car and in case you don't know about this we're gonna be putting this on the car. You'll see the spark jump around in there. It's clear, I got that from J-Bugs. So to get the plugs off, this is all we need. This is 3 8 ratchet, the short extension and a 13 16 socket, thin wall as possible. So getting the plugs out is gonna be very, very difficult at first, but then you figure out how to do it. I get the big socket on there like that. So it'll find itself on the plug Then you gotta kinda of line this up and then just break it loose. That little extension weirdest statistically they say germans are bigger people than americans well how in the world did they make this car so tiny i can barely fit my hands and work on this thing so the plugs are very difficult to get out at first especially if it's hot outside let's see i'm out here with my boy big air what's up i went crazy and bought three of those fans like that that's the only way you're going to work outside in the shade with one of those in houston texas during the summer so you could say that was fouling the plugs, but who knows how long they did not have this car running. So then we have the NGK R resisted plug. I really don't know all about that kind of stuff, but I think these are the right plugs and we're gonna go ahead and sandblast that off. So go ahead and get the rest of your plugs out. And then we're gonna come over here, get this guy off, just do a quick inspection. And it's kind of got some dirtiness in there. I'm trying to hold the phone. We're just gonna get a wire brush in there and clean each one of them off the best that we can 
this has electronic ignition that's a huge improvement for your beetle get that stuff in there no questions asked i don't even run points ignition anymore so you can use any type of ignition control module they have this one on here i'm guessing this comes off of a later model volkswagen that they just wire into this i have a video it has the datsun in it. it's wiring electronic ignition to anything you don't have to use special parts electronic ignition is an electronic ignition and another thing is with the coil the factory points coil uses three ohms of resistance that's why you'll see different ohms like 0 0.6 1.5 three ohms is for points ignition it should work with electronic ignition but you really need to check that out another thing is this coil is mounted upside down i absolutely hate that they did that on purpose so a normal person couldn't work on this car i got a lot of crap when i say don't mount your coil upside down oil will start leaking right there and it'll burn your coil up and you won't know what's going on and it's attached to this air box this air box actually blows cold air out of here even at 100 degrees so it's constantly keeping this coil which is a specific VW 12 volt internally resistant coil. Cool. And we're just talking about that because if your coil starts getting hot and it's bad, it'll quit making the amount of power that you need. So the coil is very important, but I'm pretty sure this one is fine. The ignition control module is fine. We're gonna leave that on there. They had it mounted right here where you can't get to the plug wire. So don't mount your freaking ignition box right there. You know, people that work on these cars freak me out look at that kind of crap i hate seeing that kind of stuff on a car this is supposed to be something that you're going to drive across the united states and you're putting some humpty dumpty fell off the wall bull crap on there so these pointing and talking videos that i do they're 100 percent educational your pov working on the car with me you're standing like right here your head is right here what up bitch I remember over there when i was saying these little wires ratchet on there and you make sure they go click 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 number one plug wire was loose over there i'm not gonna lie it just pulled right off no clicks so that could have been our problem the whole time and that's why i said check that first so let's go ahead and talk about the secret thing this right here was loosened both screws and i think they did that so when it would get hot it would slide over because it was slid over now it could have just loosened itself and fell off but this whole clamp right here was completely off it was open and off that one was loose and this whole boot thing was slid over that way. It could have been that, could have been a loose plug wire. It could have been this thing dirty. So let's go ahead and sandblast these. I can't make this stuff up. You will need a needle and you will need to inspect everything and make sure there's no sand stuck in there. all right so it has three ngk plugs one bosch that's why we take the plugs out to check this kind of stuff that shouldn't be a problem okay so you guys and girls that mess with cars what does that gap scream at first this screams that these were adjusted for points ignition not electronic ignition on there that looks super duper tight now i will have to go research this i'm brand new to beetles i've had this car for two weeks exactly all right so i went in there and cleaned every little contact point off that i can with that that's done and do that clean that whatever remember i was talking about this humpty dumpty bullcrap wiring i swear i went in there and i touched that and look it was never even connected right it was never even crimped in there i can't make this stuff up now i will call out whoever did that crimp job because look this is a joke i don't even want to know how many years this has been on there like that making a bad connection let's get this off oh god dang it look at this look at that so i looked the gaps up it said factory is 25 28 thousandths and of course the forms are the same in all types of car worlds they weren't specific but i found a 25 to 28 so we're going to go ahead and open this up to 35 thousandths to the bitly manual the conductive material used allowed for four percent more spark shut the hell up dude just tell me what electronic ignition spark do i run it's like i said a long time ago the guys that really work on cars are not in the forums saying hey let me answer some questions tonight it never happens so see we're trying to get thirty-five thousand. all right so we understand that part remember we have one spark plug that's different we're going to put this one on the easiest one to get out because i'm going to buy another ngk plug and that's the easiest one to get out so I make these super basic videos for people so that you don't have to waste your money and spend money like this person did. Somebody in their life that knew nothing told them to buy this right here. This is for wide open throttle, 
high heat performance. This is not for daily driver beetle. You can put it on there, but you don't need it. This is something very cool. And when I get this on a car like that, you know what I do? I sell it on eBay. I don't need this. This is like $300 right here. I have to put this stuff in my videos because I hate sleazeball mechanics. I hate liars. I hate bullshitters. Probably why I don't have that many friends at 39 years old. But this kind of stuff, completely unnecessary purchase. And then somebody probably told them, oh, you don't need that high tech stuff. You just need the regular wire. So they went and bought another set of brand new wires. Now, the real reason I do work like this for a living is because you tell somebody what you're going to do. You say, I'm going to charge you two hours to go through it. And they're like, two hours for what? So two hours to go through it to figure out what the problem is. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. We just need you to fix the problem. You know, let's say my main mechanic said he can fix it for $50. I said, well, what is he going to fix for $50? And then I tell him, I say, you know what? Roll your butt down there to that guy. Don't ever come over here again. Ask me anything ever again. The other side is that you do agree on a price. You tell them, well, give me $100 down. They're like, $100 down for what? My other mechanic doesn't ask for money down. And I say, you know what? Roll your butt down there to the other guy. Get ripped off. You know, and I will never hear from those people again. They will avoid my presence because they went on down the road and got ripped off. Whenever I was young, people said I was full of shit. People said I didn't know what I was doing. And I never argued with them. And that's why 20 years fast forward, I'm buying stuff like this just for fun to work on it on my YouTube channel. I don't need to fix this. I don't need to sell it. Honestly, I did buy it to flip it or sell it, but I kind of fell in love with it. So it's getting my special treatment. So the spark plug wires, it has a little spring in there. Make sure it's doing the little ratchety ratchet. You can hear it like that. I swear I had one in there. I couldn't get it started right because you can't see it. So listen for that noise. Using that same terminal. He's finally going to get that crimp he always wanted. Bar plugs, you want them in there pretty tight. All right, I'm still trying to figure out how to make these things start up on the first key. But let's just give it a cold start. Everything's back in there. Let's see what happens. It should run smooth. videos I made I started freaking out I was like Ugh! I really it was real because the generator light went out and it started charging that's the only issues I'm having with this car right now so I was revving the crap out of it this is a cold start see how it's not shaking everything Freaking crazy, this thing runs really good. No backfire no more. Let's time it real quick. Never use a timing light. This goes around number one spark plug by the head over there. And then you connect it to a battery. It doesn't have to be that battery. It can be any battery. steering wheel right here it does not belong in this car video coming on the one that i bought and i guess we're gonna have to do an alternator conversion because i'm getting tired and sick of that well at least we got the engine running perfect but that will leave you stranded don't play games with that so i'm so happy let's talk about the things that i found i may have disconnected number one spark plug wire 
number one spark plug was loose and i hate to say this it felt like it might have been stripped or was stripping and maybe that's why it was loose but it did tighten up in there and i am not touching number one spark plug we had a loose wire on there on our ignition that was going to our electronic ignition possibly had one of the spark plug wires not all the way snapped down and the spark plug gap so we found many many things that it could have been and let's just start this thing up one last time so what's weird is once i rev it up it'll excite the fuel to start charging maybe that thing needs to be polarized it doesn't make any sense i don't know anything about generators i'm going to try to do that and if that doesn't work we'll be doing a video on the alternator conversion i don't know why they're so expensive they're like 200 dollars. so the timing is off of that split right there and you can see like a little ghostly mark right there it's about five degrees just think 360 increments of one six of those increments about five or six degrees after top dead center that's where it wants it so it's three or four days since I actually filmed that video and I had a bad attitude because I found a lot of things wrong, a lot of things weird on this engine that didn't make sense to me. So when you're working on a car you get from somebody, don't always jump to conclusions and start blaming them and start bashing them because you really don't know. And I'm going to share a secret only with you guys and girls out there. If your generator isn't charging, you know what to do? No. I still don't know how to start these things up right. engine is running great you saw that light go out okay it's going out on its own now you want another secret and i'm only going to share this with you guys it's you go ahead and order the complete alternator conversion kit and then it'll just magically start working the videos to come i might buy that little temperature thing you stick in your oil that goes off at 255 degrees and it grounds out and closes the circuit and you run it with that oil pressure light i was trying to put a temperature sensor on here that was really cool but i could not get it to wrap around the spark plugs because they are all deep in there and wasted three hours of my life but that thing was cool because it had a tack and a temperature gauge on it so i don't know we'll figure out how to put that on there one day we have door panel video coming i still have a bunch of stuff in this box and another box that we're going to be putting on this car and real weird you just put your time into it you stick with it you don't get mad you don't scream you don't start smashing stuff and breaking stuff and things just start working all right well i've been coming out here every day after work and starting this thing up and it runs really really good now if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and feel free to ask me any questions